I've done declared, there won't be no God after me. That's right. But the devil. Yes. Now, viewers, let me educate you and take you to school. I want to read to you the thoughts of Satan. That's right. That ignited war in heaven. In the book of Isaiah, chapter Amen. 14. I want to take you to school today. That's right. Now, I know the Bible said there was war in heaven, yeah. but I want to show you in the Bible what caused it. You know what caused conflict is a mindset. That's right. I don't care how That's right. anybody get along and how wonderful they are. All you need is a flip of the switch of the mind. That's right. When the mind change, look out. That's right. Look out. You can have two people walking in the truth, believing the same thing, practicing the same thing. All you need is the mind of one. That's right. The detour from the truth. Right then, confusion start. Conflict start. That's right. An argument start. That's right. A debate start. So where there was peace, now there's an uprising. That's right. Where there was peace, now there's conflict. Yeah. So the change of mind, the change of heart, brings about conflict, right. argument, war, war, death, abuse, right. harm, pain. And the devil introduced all of this. That's right. Listen at this now. Isaiah chapter 14, we'll start reading at verse 12. Yeah, I want to show you the thoughts of the devil. That's right. You got cause and effect. Amen. The thoughts of the devil that brought about war in heaven. All right. Isaiah chapter 14, we're at verse 12. What is it? How art thou fallen from How heaven? How art thou fallen from heaven? From heaven. Oh, Lucifer. Oh, Lucifer. Son of the morning. Son of the morning. Of the morning. I have to explain this as I go along now. That's right. You better read son. S-O-N. Of the morning. Son now, of the morning. Yeah. God created good and evil. That's right. God is the maker of all things. That's right. It is written, should we not rather be subject to the Father, to the creator of spirits, and live. So the Lord says, I create good. And I create evil. That's right. Amen. How the Lord do all these things. That's right. So God created evil. They give man a choice. That's right. So man can choose this day whom he going to serve. Isaiah chapter 45 and at verse 7. Says what? I form the light. Here now. Amen. God says, I form the light. And create darkness. And I create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all I, this. I, the things. Lord, do all, do all this. That's right. So, God made evil so man can choose what he wants. That's right. God don't force good upon man. No. God don't force his will upon man. No. Amen. So, now, brother and sister, you can choose now. That's right. You want God? He's here. If the Lord be God. If the Lord be God. Follow him. Then you follow him. But if Baal. If evil be God. Then follow him. Then you can follow him. That's so right. So God gave you the right to choose. That's right. He don't force you. Go with take God, not at all. Not at all. He, he, he lay it before you. That's right. And then give you the privilege to choose. That's right. All right, let's go back to Isaiah and see the thinking process of Satan that brought about this great war in heaven. Back in Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Follow me. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Yes. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? Yes. But thou hast said in thine heart. Now, I want you to understand. Lucifer said in his heart. I will ascend into heaven. That lets you know when the heart, the feelings that was once loving, yes. peaceful, yes. cooperative. Mm -hmm. When the feelings start to change, right. expect a different attitude. That's right. Expect a different act. That's right. Expect the different presentation of oneself. That's right. Why? There's a change of heart now. That's right. Lord, God in the Bible says the heart is the most deceitful thing and 
desperately wicked. So right then, Lucifer had a, he got into the mood of desperation. That's right. Lustful, right. warning the position that only God can have. That's right. Huh? You see, the position that God have, only he can have it. That's it. Amen. Until he said, who is my equal? Yeah. Say if the Holy One, God knows there's none equal to him, none rival him, none better than him. Right. Only he is the almighty, all knowing, all powerful. Only God never had a beginning and never had an ending. That's right. Satan had a beginning. Don't you hear the Bible says I created evil. evil. When he created evil, that was the beginning of Satan. That's right. All right. For thou hast said in thine heart. I have said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will go into heaven. I will. I will. Look at the arrogance. I will. Look at the arrogance. Look at the high mindedness. That's right. I will. I will exalt my throne. I will above exalt the my stars of throne God. above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the I will sit up. Upon the mount of the congregation and the size of, of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. High minded thing. That's right. High minded, arrogant, self righteous thing. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. You see, thinking high minded is a spirit. That's right. That's why man is so exalted now. That's right. When you hear a man brag about he's this, he's that, and not giving God the glory, he have an evil spirit. Spirit in him. That's right. In other words, he got the spirit of the devil in him. That's right. He reflects the thinking of the devil. He reflects the emotions of the devil. He reflects the characteristics of the devil. That's right. Uh -huh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will be like the most high. You see, right then, that's the spirit of a lie. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Amen. He, he, right? He not only that's displayed good. his high mindedness. Yeah. And this exalted way of thinking, yes. he, he ended up with a lie. I will be like the Most High. No, you won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. No, you won't. Amen. This is Lucifer talking. That's right. You know, it's something when you can lie so much, you believe it. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. He said, I will. I will be like the Most High. Now, those thoughts were so embedded in the devil so deeply rooted in the heart of the great red dragon that's right in lucifer that's right in the sun of the morning he's called sun s-o-n of the morning because we only have one heavenly father that's right and being that is called morning you bear in mind in the natural the morning doesn't start with daylight. No. Uh -uh. no. It is written how Jesus rose early in the morning while it was dark. That's right. So morning starts with darkness and gradually the darkness fades and you come to light. That's right. So sun of the morning is the stage of a spirit. That's right. Mm-hmm. It is the stage of the spirit of Satan. That's, right. That's why he is the spirit of darkness that's transformed yeah. into an angel of light. But his light is not real. That's right. His light is an illusion. That's right. It's hypocritical. He pretends to reflect the things of God, but he's really the spirit. Period of darkness. That's right. All right. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will be like the most high. Liar. Li Amen. That's a liar. That's right. Now, the way he thought, it really troubled heaven. Yeah. But he was determined. Yes, you he know, was. anytime you start a conflict, you're determined. I'm determined. They get your will over. That's right. Anytime a country declare war yeah. on another country because the country refused to cooperate, yes. refused to give up. That's the way America is. That's right. America have the characteristics of Satan. That's right. That's because right. America said, we're the only ones 
that should have nuclear power. That's right. We're the only ones. That's right. That should be able to have weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. That's the thinking of the devil. That's right. That's the arrogance. That's right. That's the high mindedness. Yes. That's the self exaltation of a nation that have rejected the counsel of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. So as a result of the mentality of Satan, war broke out in heaven. And there was war in heaven. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 7. What it said. And there was war in heaven. There was war. In heaven. In heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Hey, viewers, viewers, have you not seen on television or on social media false prophets by the thousands lie to you and say the devil don't have no power? Amen. How in the world a evangelical televised fool yeah. with the Bible in his hand? That's right. Going to tell me the devil don't have no power and he don't cause war? war in heaven. In heaven? In heaven. That's right. There ain't nothing weak, nothing weak about you no. when you can cause war, war in heaven? In heaven. That's right. Not only cause war in heaven, but you can trick, con, manipulate, seduce yeah. a third. Yes. Yeah. Of God's angels. That's right. Of God's messengers. That's right. To take sides with you. Amen. The only time you take sides with an enemy, you believe the enemy. Yeah. That's right. Now, the angels, I have to get all that about the third. Yes. Because they were they, they was, they came, was take, taken out of heaven. In Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 4. Listen to this. And his tail drew the third part of the stars His of tail. And then I got to show you where the angels are when they came out. That's right. There's so much coming to my mind. That's right. Not only do I want to show you how the brother. angels was taken out of heaven, I want to show you where those angels are That's right. now. Now. Eh? That's right. Amen. We're going to, this is Sunday school. Amen. This is early Sunday morning, early. too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, God. Amen. All right, son. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Now, I want to educate you. You see, I have to take it piece by piece. By piece. Precept right. upon precept. That's right. Now, the reason why it says the tail yeah. because Satan is called the great red dragon. And you better read that. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 3. And then we have to switch over to the book of Isaiah, of Isaiah because I have to explain what the tail means. That's right. I don't want no one to think the Hollywood version. That's right. Of a little red man. That's right. With a tight suit. Amen. With little fake horns. Amen. And a little tail. That's right. Shaking himself. That's right. Eh? That's right. Who would take after after ruin the Hollywood, the Hollywood version of the devil. That's right. <laughs> All right, Williams, come on, son. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 3. Follow me and, and get this. Revelation 12 and verse 3. All right. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. There appeared another. Let us you know heaven had a lot of wonders seen. That's right. There appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Satan is called a great red dragon. Great, powerful, red, meaning the manifestation of his evil is seen. That's right. Get it now. And red whole, is a bold color. Yeah. Great red, he, he, he's great, terrible, red, bold. That's right. That's right. Great, terrible, red, have no shame. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Great red, seen. He don't mind manifesting himself and demonstrating his evil. He's very proud, arrogant. He, he, he want everybody to see the way he is. That's right. Anytime you're willing to rise up at God, you're bold. Oh, yes. You're foolish, but you're bold. That's right. Uh -huh. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Great red dragon. Having seven heads and ten horns. Yes. And seven crowns upon his head. Uh -huh. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. His tail. His tail. Drew the third part of the stars. The third of part of the stars of heaven. And it cast them to the earth. Now let me educate you. When it says the stars of heaven, 
was drawn out by his tail. Right. It's not talking about the stars you see at night. That's right. The stars of heaven is talking about the angels of God. That's right. The reason why the angels are called stars, let me point you to the natural. At nighttime, you know, I've been to Africa. And brother, at night, the clouds, the heavens, it looked beautiful. Yes. I mean, the, the moon shine bright. And, uh, I, and the stars illuminate the heavens. Amen. Now, when you see the shining stars at night, the star reflect the light of the sun That's right. that you don't see. The sun is shining somewhere else. Yeah. And the stars are the reflection of the light of the sun that you don't see. Right. Now the angel, which means messenger, is to reflect the light of God, the wisdom of God, the knowledge of God. That's right. You don't see God, no. but you see the reflection of God in the angel, in the messenger of God. That's right. So now the angels took sides. Right. You know, you don't take sides with your enemy unless you believe them. That's right. In order for Satan to be successful and get the third of the stars or the third of the angels to side with him, they have to first give ear yeah. to what he believes. That's right. And then they start to feel what he feels. That's right. And then start to think yeah. how he thinks. That's right. And then start to believe what they feel and believe what they think. And now take sides with Satan and agree to battle with him in heaven. That's right. That's right. Backsliding. Mm -hmm. Start in heaven. Amen. Hey, glory to God, before there was man backsliding, start in heaven. The angels were the first one That's right. to leave God. That's right. Imagine that. The angels, did, they had it made. Oh, yes, they did. The angels didn't have to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No. The angels didn't have to seek the Holy Ghost. They were created holy. That's right. When God made the angels, they were holy. That's right. But they holy estate. Yes. Their holy position yeah. was violated. That's right. Because they gave air That's right. to the devil. That's right. Africa, your holy place yeah. that God is offering you. When you give air and follow a false prophet, you have violated. Right. You have contaminated. That's right. You are destroying the holy place yes. that God Almighty is presenting to you now. By the way of his everlasting word. That's right. All right, what did he say? And his tail drew the third part of the stars his of heaven. His tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. And now, did, now, and what? And it cast them to the earth. Now, I want to show you what the devil tail is. In the book of Hell, The devil tail is not a little old tail in the back of his backside. No, 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 no. And no. You see, the Bible talk in symbolic terms. That's right. Amen. The devil tail is not in the back. Mm -mm. The devil tail, let me show you what it means when it said his tail. Drew the third part get, of the stars. Get the book of Isaiah now. Isaiah chapter 9, we're at verse 15. Follow me. Isaiah 9 and verse 15. What is it? The ancient and honorable, he is the, the head. The ancient. I was talking about God. That's right. Because he's called the ancient of days. That's right. He's the ancient. And and. He's the honorable. He is the head. Oh, he's the head. And the prophet that teaches lies. The messenger that teaches lies. He is the tail. He's the tail. That's so right. Satan didn't trick those angels with a tail that's in his back. No. No. His tail was words. That's right. His tail was speech. That's right. In fact, his tail was a seducing spirit, a lying spirit. That's right. Now I want you to get this. After the devil successfully tricked the angels, Amen. which is the third, yes. the third. And his tail drew the third part. Drew the third part. Of the stars of heaven. So, and what? 
And they cast them to the earth. So after they came out, came out of heaven. That's right. Backslid. That's right. With the devil. Mm -hmm. God didn't want those angels to wander. That's right. Because they, they, they committed a crime. That's right. You ain't going to commit a crime and get away. Amen. Oh, uh, why? Because God is a judge. That's right. And uh, being that he's a judge, he knew a trial had to take place. That's right. But it ain't time yet. So even though God made those angels, he decided, Ben, that you're going to take sides with the devil mm -hmm. and betray God. Amen. All right. This is what I'm going to do to you. Jude chapter 1 and we're at verse 6. Notice the book of Jude. You see how the Bible just itemizes it? Amen. Step by step. Amen. I want to show you where the falling angels are. Jude chapter 1 and we're at verse 6. Jude. The book of Jude is right next to the book of Revelation. That's right. Jude. Chapter 1. The first chapter. And the sixth verse. And the sixth verse says. And the angels which kept not their first estate. The state, angels that kept not their first, first estate. estate. The first estate of the angels was a holy estate. Their original estate. Their place with God. God in heaven. But let they failed to keep that. That's right. They failed to be steadfast in that. That's right. But left. But left their own habitation. Their own dwelling place. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness. He got them reserved in everlasting in chains. Eternal imprisonment. Under darkness. Unto darkness. Unto the judgment of the great day. Wait a minute. Then chains to what? Unto the judgment of the great day. Unto the day of judgment. That's right. So not even that. Here, 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 viewers. If he didn't let the angels get away, you know you're not going to get away. That's right. Eh? That's right. You bear in mind, if God Almighty refused to let the angels that betrayed him, yeah. God, look at God. he had been good to the angels. That's right. He made them. Thank God. And they were holy from the day they were made. That's right. They were serving him. That's right. Now, what happened in heaven is simply an example of what would take place on earth. That's right. So there was war. Let's go back to Revelation now. Back in Revelation 12 and we're at verse 7. All right. And there was war in heaven. There was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Now, you always got God raising up somebody yeah. to fight evil. That's right. Michael was called the archangel, which means the chief angel. That's right. Fought the dragon. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Michael and his angels. You know, you had angels that was with God. Yeah. And you had angels that commit treason against God. That's right. Today, you got people that are with God. Yeah. And you got people that have turned on God they used to be with. That's right. And, and there was war in heaven. And just like the angels that third took sides with Satan. There's many of you watching me now. You used to be baptized. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. You used to have the blessed Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Yes. Now many of you have turned your back on God. That's right. Dancing, partying, playing dice, right. shooting pool, drinking, out all night, getting high, yeah. turn your back on the Lord. That's right. Running the streets with no discipline. And they have turned unto me the back. Listen at this. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 32 and verse 33. God is filing a complaint. That's right. And said what? And they have turned unto me the back. You know, when someone turned their back on you, they don't respect you. That's right. They don't even want to hear what you got to say. That's right. You know, when you're talking to someone, they turn their back on you. They're telling you, look, I don't want to hear what you got to say. Amen. I'm not even interested. Amen. And look at the way the human family are about God. And they have turned unto me the That's back. That's the way many are when they hear this message. That's right. Eh? That's right. When they hear it. This, I had, I had this message. That, that we preached by God's permission on Friday and, uh, and yesterday that was bombing Africa. Some logged on for the first time right here in America. Amen. Cussing. Mm. 
And one man said, I'm tired of hearing you talk about the Bible. He said, I can prove to you that the Bible's not right. Then he said, I used to believe what you believe. Amen. He said, I got a higher knowledge now. Yeah. What knowledge is higher than God? That's right. You know, man in his arrogance get us spell yeah. from hell yeah. by the devil. Yeah. And then the devil give man the same feelings that he had That's right. when he first rebelled against God. That's right. Eh? That's right. So man get a little bit of knowledge under his belt. And now he said, oh, I'm smarter than the scriptures. Yeah. I'm smarter than the Bible. Yeah. The Bible is a fraud Amen. written by a bunch of Europeans. Yeah. That's the devil that get in man. Because the devil know, if I can make you disbelieve God's word, I got you locked up for hell. That's right. See, the devil know he can't be saved. Yeah. He, there's no room of repentance for the devil at all. At all. Until the Bible says his place was not found anymore mm -hmm. in heaven. Amen. amen. He was put out forever and ever. Well, amen. Amen. Huh? And they have turned unto me the back. Amen. That's, that's the human family. That's right. The preacher's done it. That's the right. bishop's done it. The so-called apostles of the day done it. That's the religious world done it. The politicians, the Democrats, the Republicans, the parliament, right. the governments of the world have turned their back. Hallelujah. They have turned, turned their turn turn back. Huh? They have turned their back. And not the face. That's why. And you hear me telling you, come back to God. That's right. Come back to God. That's right. Come back. Back to him. Amen. Huh? Amen. They have turned. They have turned unto me the back. Oh, we take God. God has found a complaint. That's right. He don't like it. That's right. He don't appreciate it. He know he don't deserve to Go see ahead. your back. Go ahead. He done gave you life. Hallelujah. He done gave you rain. Hallelujah. He done gave you food. That's right. He done gave you shelter. That's right. He done gave you clothes. Go with you. Yeah. They have turned and the, the back. only way you can treat God Hallelujah. is turn your, your back. back. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 You turn your back. They have turned unto me the back. He's complaining. That's right. He's complaining. They have turned unto me the back. You got a little money now Go ahead, and got a large house, got a decent car. Got a uh, wardrobe of clothing. Yeah. Now you think you're somebody because you got a little bit money. That's right. You turned your back. back. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. What is it? Now it's come salvation. Now it's come. Salvation. Freedom. And strength. Now it's come deliverance. That's right. Now it's come healing. That's right. Now it's come Salvation. They couldn't say that while the devil had his grip on heaven. That's right. You know, imagine the devil had a grip on heaven. That's right. War, War. broke out. That's right. That lets you know he's a spirit of conflict. Spirit of confrontation. The devil don't like unity. The devil don't like when the things of God is unified. Devil don't like when God's people are one. That's right. Devil can't stand that. That's right. You ever met a person can't stand when just two people get along? Yeah. My God, man, they come and ruin everything. <laughs> Viewers, the devil hate God. That's right. And because God would not tolerate him, the devil mindset now. He's going to get even with God. Right. And the way the devil made it up in his mind to get even with God is to destroy God's creation. Why would God do that? Or why would the God of this world, the devil, do that? Well, we were made for God's glory. Glad to see Cape Town, South Africa this morning. Amen. God bless your hearts forever. <laughs> you bear in mind, we were made for God's glory. For I have created him for my glory. I want you to hear this. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43, we'll start reading at verse 6. Isaiah 43 and 6 says, I will say to the north, give up. Look at God's will. Amen. God's purpose. 
I will say to the north, give up, surrender, and to the south, and if you live in the south, keep not back, don't stay away, bring my sons from far, bring my sons from far, and, and my, my daughters, daughters, from the ends of the earth, from the ends of the earth, even everyone that is called by my name, why did God make the human race, for I have created him for my glory, do you hear that, amen, that's what God made you for, he made you to glorify him, serve him, pray to him, worship him. God is a God that know he deserves a lot of praise. That's right. He know there's no God with him. There's no God equal to him. There is no God that can possibly rival him. That's right. There is no God before him. That's right. Neither shall there be after to him and there's no God with him. That's right. He is God alone. Yeah. He is the maker of all creation. That's right. He is the Lord of the universe. That's right. Thank God and after heaven and earth pass away, God himself will not pass. That's right. So being that he made man and woman for his glory, mm -hmm. Satan objected. Satan minds that, that he's going to ruin God's creation. That's right. Now, let's go back to the book of Revelation. I want to itemize this now. Back in Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 10. Listen. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. I heard a loud voice saying in heaven. Now it's come south. Wait a minute. You better back up. Back up. I have to get the reason why. The, the apostle declare now salvation. You better back up. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 7. Uh, I want to give you the complete uh, uh, story here. Amen. The, 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 the complete, complete recording That's right. of the event That's right. that took place in heaven. Amen. And that will give you to better understand why the world is so miserable now. That's right. All right. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 7. All right. And there was war in heaven. Look at here. War. War. There was conflict in heaven. Whenever there's war, somebody is in disagreement That's right. with the other side. That's right. Not only that, the one that disagree with the other side, there's power, the lust for power, the lust for position, the lust to rule, That's right. to take over, yeah. is in place. That's right. God done declared, there ain't going to be no God but me. That's right. God done declared, there won't be no God after me. That's right. But the devil. Yes. Now, viewers, let me educate you and take you to school. I want to read to you the thoughts of Satan. That's right. That ignited war in heaven. In the book of Isaiah chapter Amen. 14. I want to take you to school today. Now, I know the Bible said there was war in heaven, but I want to show you in the Bible what caused it. You know what caused conflict is a mindset. That's right. I don't care how That's right. anybody get along and how wonderful they are. All you need is a flip of the switch of the mind. That's right. When the mind changed, look out. That's right. Look out. You can have two people walking in the truth, believing the same thing. Practicing the same thing. All you need is the mind of one. That's right. The detour from the truth. That's right. right then, confusion start. Yes. Conflict start. That's right. An argument start. That's right. A debate start. Mm -hmm. So where there was peace, now there's an uprising. That's right. Where there was peace, now there's conflict. So the change of mind, the change of heart, brings about conflict, right. argument, war, war, death, abuse, right. harm, pain. And the devil introduced all of this. That's right. Listen at this now. Isaiah chapter 14, we'll start reading at verse 12. Yeah, I want to show you the thoughts of the devil. That's right. You got calls. 
and effect. Amen. The thoughts of the devil that brought about war in heaven. All right. Isaiah chapter 14, we're at verse 12. What is it? How art thou fallen from How heaven? How art thou fallen from heaven? From heaven. Oh, Lucifer. Oh, Lucifer. Son of the morning. Son of the morning. Of the morning. I have to explain this as I go along now. That's right. You better read son. S O N. Of the morning. Son now, of the morning. Yeah. God created good and evil. That's right. God is the maker of all things. That's right. It is written, should we not rather be subject to the Father, to the creator of spirits, and live? So the Lord says, I create good. And I create evil. That's right. Amen. How the Lord do all these things. That's right. So God created evil to give man a choice. That's right. So man can choose this day whom he going to serve. Isaiah chapter 45 and at verse 7. Says what? I form the light. Here now. Amen. God says, I form the light. And create darkness. And I create darkness. I make peace. I make peace. And create evil. And create evil. I, the Lord, do all this. I, the things. Lord, do all, do all this. That's right. So, God made evil so man can choose what he wants. That's right. God don't force good upon man. No. God don't force his will upon man. No. Amen. So now, brother and sister, you can choose now. That's right. You want God? He's here. If the Lord be God. If the Lord be God. Follow him. Then you follow him. But if Baal. If evil be God. Then follow him. Then you can follow him. That's so right. So God gave you the right to choose. That's right. He don't force you. Go with take God, not at all. Not at all. He, he, he lay it before you. That's right. And then give you the privilege to choose. That's right. All right, let's go back to Isaiah and see the thinking process of Satan that brought about this great war in heaven. Back in Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 12. Follow me. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Yes. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation? Yes. But thou hast said in thine heart. Now, I want you to understand. Lucifer said in his heart. I will ascend into heaven. That lets you know when the heart, the feelings that was once loving, yes. peaceful, yes. cooperative. Mm -hmm. When the feelings start to change, right. expect a different attitude. That's right. Expect a different act. That's right. Expect the different presentation of oneself. That's right. Why? There's a change of heart now. That's right. Lord, God in the Bible says the heart is the most deceitful thing and desperately wicked. So right then, Lucifer had a, he got into the mood of desperation. That's right. Lustful, right. wanting the position that only God can have. That's right. Huh? You see, the position that God have, only he can have it. That's it. Amen. Until he said, who is my equal? Yeah. Say if the Holy One, God know there's none equal to him, none rival him, none better than him. That's Only right. he is the almighty, all knowing, all powerful. Only God never had a beginning and never had an ending. That's right. Satan had a beginning. Don't you hear the Bible says I created evil. evil. When he created evil, that was the beginning of Satan. That's right. All right. For thou hast said in thine heart. Thou hast said in thine heart. I will ascend into heaven. I will go into heaven. I will. I will. Look at the arrogance. I will. Look at the arrogance. Look at the high mindedness. That's right. I will. I will exalt my throne. I will above exalt the stars my throne of God. above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation. In the, of in the, the north. size of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. High minded thing. That's right. High minded, arrogant, self righteous thing. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. You see, thinking high minded is a spirit. That's right. That's why man is so exalted now. That's right. When you hear a man brag about he's this, he's that, and not giving God the glory, he have an evil spirit in him. That's right. In other words, he got the spirit of the devil in him. That's right. He reflects the thinking of the devil. 
He reflects the emotions of the devil. He reflects the characteristics of the devil. That's right. Uh -huh. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will be like the most high. You see right then, that's the spirit of a lie. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Amen. He, he, right? he not only I displayed will. his high-mindedness yeah. and this exalted way of thinking, yes. he, he ended up with a lie. I will be like the most high. No, you won't. <laughs> That's right. No, you won't. Amen. This is Lucifer talking. That's right. You know, it's something when you can lie so much, you believe it. That's right. Eh? That's right. Amen. He said, I will. I will be like the most high. Now, those thoughts were so embedded in the devil, so deeply rooted in the heart of the great red dragon. That's right. In Lucifer. That's right. In the sun of the morning. Mm -hmm. He's called sun, S-O-N, of the morning because we only have one heavenly father. That's right. And being that it's called morning, you bear in mind, in the natural, the morning doesn't start with daylight. No. Uh-uh. No. It is written how Jesus rose early in the morning while it was dark that's right so morning starts with darkness and gradually the darkness fades and you come to light that's right so sun of the morning is the stage of a spirit that's right mm -hmm. it is the stage of the spirit of satan that's right that's why he is the spirit of darkness that's transformed yeah. into an angel of light. But his light is not real. That's right. His light is an illusion. That's right. It's hypocritical. He pretends to reflect the things of God, but he's really the spirit. Period of darkness. That's right. All right. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Yes. I will be like the most high. Liar. Li Amen. That's a liar. That's right. Now, the way he thought, it really troubled heaven. Yeah. But he was determined. Yes, you he know, was. anytime you start a conflict, you're determined. I'm determined. They get your will over. That's right. Anytime a country declare war yeah. on another country because the country refused to cooperate, yes. refused to give up. That's the way America is. That's right. America have the characteristics of Satan. That's right. That's because right. America said, we're the only ones that should have nuclear power. That's right. We're the only ones That's right. that should be able to have weapons of mass destruction. That's the thinking of the devil. That's right. That's the arrogance. That's right. That's the high-mindedness. Yes. That's the self-exaltation of a nation that have rejected the counsel of God. That's right. Eh? That's right. Glory to God. So as a result of the mentality of Satan, war broke out in heaven. And there was war in heaven. Give chapter and verse again. Back in Revelation chapter 12 and at verse 7. What it said. And there was war in heaven. There was war. In heaven. In heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Hey viewers, viewers, have you not seen on television or on social media false prophets by the thousands lie to you and say the devil don't have no power. Amen. How in the world a evangelical televised fool yeah. with a Bible in his hand That's right. going to tell me the devil don't have no power and he don't cause war? war? In heaven. In heaven? In heaven. That's right. There ain't nothing weak, nothing weak about you no. when you can cause war? War. In heaven? In heaven. That's right. Not only cause war in heaven, but you can trick, con, manipulate, seduce yeah. a third yes. of God's angels. That's right. Of God's messengers. That's right. To take sides with you. Amen. The only time you take sides with an enemy, you believe the enemy. Yeah. 
That's right. Now, the angels, I have to get all that about the third. Yes. Because they were, they, they were, they were, they were take, taken out of heaven. In Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 4. Listen to this. And his tail drew the third part of the stars His of heaven. tail. And then I got to show you where the angels are when they came out. That's right. There's so much coming to my mind. That's right. Not only do I want to show you how the angels were taken out of heaven, I want to show you where those angels are That's right. now. Now. Eh? That's right. Amen. We're going to, this is Sunday school. Amen. This is early Sunday morning, early. too. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. Amen. All right, son. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Now, I want to educate you. You see, I have to take it piece by piece. By piece. Precept right. upon precept. That's right. Now. The reason why it says to tell because Satan is called the great red dragon. And you better read that. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 3. And then we have to switch over to the book of Isaiah, Isaiah. because I have to explain what the tell means. That's right. I don't want no one to think the Hollywood version That's right. of a little red man. That's right. With a tight suit. Amen. With little fake horns. Amen. And a little tail. That's right. Shaking himself. That's right. Eh? That's right. I, 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 have to, I have to ruin the Hollywood, the Hollywood. version of the devil. That's right. <laughs> All right, Williams, come on, son. Revelation chapter 12, we're at verse 3. Follow me and, and there get this. Revelation 12 and verse 3. All right. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. There appeared another. Let you know heaven had a lot of wonders seen. That's right. There appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Satan is called a great red dragon. Great, powerful, red, meaning the manifestation of his evil is seen. That's right. Get it now. And red whole, is a bold color. Yeah. Great red, he, he, he's great, terrible, red, bold. That's right. That's right. Great, terrible, red, have no shame. That's right. Do you see what I'm telling you? That's right. Great red, see, he don't mind manifesting himself and demonstrating his evil. He's very proud, arrogant. He, he, he want everybody to see the way he is. That's right. Anytime you're willing to rise up at God, you're bold. Oh, yes. You're foolish, but you're bold. That's right. Uh -huh. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. Another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. Great red dragon. Having seven heads and ten horns. Yes. And seven crowns upon his head. Uh -huh. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven. His tail. His tail. 